What's going on guys? Um, I bought this boat uh, a couple years ago and the owner told me the um, radar had a bad R, RI-10 unit, which is basically a communication thingy. Um, and then I called Simrad support and they were telling me I had to replace the whole unit and that, you know, it's basically not repairable and that they'd give me half off of a new unit at about 1200 bucks. Um, but I'm like, nah, I, I like to fix things. So I took it apart and I'm gonna show you guys what I found was wrong with it. And I'll show you guys where I got the parts and everything to fix it and save myself a lot of money. Check it out. All right, so here's my unit. Um, I got the Simrad 4G, all right. Um, to get it off of my boat, I had to use a 13 millimeter socket right here. All right, 13 millimeter, you got four bolts. Um, came right off. I unplugged the unit, took it down here. And then you have, then you have little hex bolts. Um, you just need an Allen wrench to get those off. There's about six of those. And then you can pull this lid off. So here's my unit. Um, once I pulled this off, I saw this sitting here. It was just sitting in there loose. So that's your drive belt, all right? So immediately I knew um, it was an easy fix. I just gotta get a replacement drive belt. Uh, so to get the uh, replacement belt, um, I went on the Whole Truth forum and found somebody else that has the same issue. And I went on this website, um, McMaster Car, and I ordered a couple of the, the tubes or sorry, the uh, belts. So it's a round belt, it's 1 8 inch in diameter. Um, the previous belt, it was kind of shredded, so I wasn't able to measure it itself, but I measured um, the actual length of the two pulleys, and it came out to about 22 and a quarter. So these were the only options on the website, so I ordered one of each. So 22 and a quarter, 22, and then 21 and three quarters, just in case I had to stretch it out to give it a good enough resistance. Um, so, um, yeah, hopefully that, um, but yeah, I'm about to put it together. I'm about to put the belt on. I'll show you guys that, how you get the belt on and then, uh, hopefully plug it back in and everything's good to go. All right. So to get this belt on, you got to take this, uh, radar unit off. Um, what I have to do is pull these two Allen screws out here and here. And then there's, um, <clears throat> There's two little Allen screws here on both sides of that. You take that off and then there's one more big Allen screw here in the middle. So I'm about to pop those off. All right guys, so it was actually a little loose at 22 and a quarter. Um, uh, so I tried the 22. 22 was like fit perfect. But it was still like, you know, not super tight. Um, I got the 21 and three quarters. Fits just right, it's not too tight. Um, just barely goes on there and you know I don't know if this stuff is made to stretch it doesn't really have a lot of stretch but this one it seems like it's just got the perfect tautness so you could probably go 22 or chart 21 and a half um, <clears throat> so I might order a spare belt just to have it in 22 and a half that's a little bit tighter but this will actually drive it you know these aren't made for, these aren't made for a lot of tension because this thing is super light the thing that it spins is like phew, it's like nothing. So yeah, 21 and three quarters was the final, the final one that worked. So I'm glad I ordered three. Um, so I'm about to close it back up and uh, test her out and see if it works. All right, I got it all back together. Um, looks good. Before I closed it up, I took a little bit of uh, dielectric grease, greased my um, any electrical connections in here. I mean, this thing was pretty clean. But well, just in case one day it started to leak and I also lubricated my seal because it was looking a little dry. So I just basically went around the edge of that and just gave that a little bit of lube um, from that dielectric. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on, wrap it up and uh, plug it in, see how it goes. All right, it's the moment of truth. Let's see if it worked. spinning <gasps> it worked hell yeah that's what i'm talking about just saved myself twelve hundred dollars for the five dollar part that is amazing man what a feeling oh well, guys i just saved myself <clears throat> a lot of money the five dollar part um 
got my radar working. So, Simrad, sorry, your customer service, your tech support sucks. Um, quit trying to just sell new products and just help people fix what they got. And maybe, you know, maybe my next upgrade won't be a Garmin, you know, if you guys were a little bit better with your customer service. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you helped somebody. I know it would have helped me a ton. Um, luckily, I found <clears throat> some answers on the whole truth and uh, saved myself some money. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this or got anything out of it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the water.